All right, in this section, we are gonna take a closer look at mitosis, which is a phase of your cell cycle. So, mitosis. When asked what mitosis is, mitosis in the cell cycle is the division of the genetic material within the nucleus. So, mitosis has five phases. When asked about the five phases, you should always say the five phases are PMAT. P dash mat. The five phases from looking at our past video is prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. P dash mat, these are them in order. You need to know them in order. You need to understand what's going on in each phase. Prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase now I'm gonna draw out each of the phases and we're gonna start with prophase Inside of the nucleus. Inside of the nucleus, in your gap two phase, your chromosomes start to condense. Well, in prophase, your chromosomes are going to continue to condense and basically become visible. So instead of being coiled, your chromosomes are duplicated, they begin to be visible. They are condensed. So you can see them. Now what happens is your two centrosomes, which have centrioles inside of them, are going to move to each pole of the cell. So your centrosomes are the microtubule organization center of the cell responsible for cellular division. Now these are going to duplicate in your gap two phase, but they move to the ends of the poles. When you say poles, think of these as the north poles and south poles. So centrosomes, Our microtubule organization centers of the cell. These are going to help with cell division. These move to opposite poles. So we have one on the north pole and we have one on the south pole. Now, your centrosomes are going to form something known as the mitotic spindle. Remember, it's the microtubule organization center of the cell. So they start to assemble these microtubules that come off of the centrosomes. So we call this the mitotic spindle. Sometimes we call this the spindle apparatus. So the centrosomes help with cell division because they are going to form the mitotic spindle.
which is an orange. Now, another thing that has to happen is you have to get rid of your nuclear envelope. So, in prophase, because you have your condensed chromosomes and we need to divide the genetic material, your nuclear envelope needs to disappear as the chromosomes condense. But they're gonna just continue to condense. That is prophase. Now, in prometaphase, we have to attach your mitotic spindles to your sister chromatids or your duplicated chromosomes. So, new page. Prometaphase. Since your nuclear envelope has disappeared, we no longer will draw your nuclear envelope. Now, if you recall, when you have two copies of a chromosome, you need to remember the proteins that we've learned. The first protein that we learned was the protein in the center known as cohesion, which holds your sister chromatids together. Now, we are going to have a new a new protein called a kinetochord. So the word kinetochord means to move. So you have to be able to move your chromosomes. So out here, you have two new proteins that I need to talk about. The proteins that are on the outside of the sister chromatids are called kinetochores. Kinetochores are basically proteins on the outside of the sister chromatids that the mitotic spindle attaches so that we can move chromosomes. So the mitotic spindle is going to attach to the kinetochores to move the chromosomes around. You have to have these kinetochores. Kinetochores are proteins on the outside of sister chromatids or the condensed chromosomes that the mitotic spindle is gonna attach to to move the chromosomes around in the cell. Now, the way that the chromosomes are held together is by another protein called cohesin. These are going to hold the sister chromatids together. So, kinetochores are proteins, but they're on the outside. So during prometaphase, the job of prometaphase is when the mitotic spindles have to attach, they literally have to attach to the chromosomes. So 
on either side, on either pole, you have your centrosomes. They have centrioles that form the mitotic spindle. On either side of your chromosomes, you have your kinetochores. The mitotic spindle coming off of your centrosome is going to attach to these proteins, these kinetochores, during prometaphase. So, a spindle has to attach to this side, a spindle has to attach to this side, it'll have to attach to this side and to this side. So the mitotic spindle attaches to the kinetochore. The centrosome forms the mitotic spindle. The mitotic spindle attaches to the kinetochore. That is what's going on in prometaphase. So when we talk about prometaphase, you literally are going to say the mitotic spindle attaches to the kinetochores. Now, kinesiology means to move. So the mitotic spindles, what their job is, is to pull the center, these chromosomes to the center. So, we start to pull the chromosome to the center of the cell. So literally, your mitotic spindle attaches to the kinetochore to move them around to pull them to the center, which brings us to metaphase. When you hear the word metaphase, I want you to think the middle. In metaphase, by the time you reach metaphase, your mitotic spindles have literally lined up all of your chromosomes in the very center of the cell. So, you have to have prometaphase. You have your kinetochores on either side that are attached to the mitotic spindle, which moved them to the center of the stage. So you still have your centrosomes. Your centrosomes have centrioles. It is the microtubule organization center of the cell that is gonna create microtubules or the mitotic spindle. So in metaphase, your chromosomes are lined up at the middle. Your mitotic spindle is still intact. This is how we lined up the chromosomes in the middle of the cell. That is basically metaphase. When you say metaphase, and I use meta is middle, the chromosomes are aligned at the center of the cell. Now, when we talk about the center of the cell where the chromosomes are lined, this is sometimes referred to as the equator. The equator is the center on the earth. We just called this the poles but we also call it the metaphase plate.
The metaphase plate or the equator is the center of the cell where the chromosomes are aligned. That is metaphase. So prophase, we're using everything that we talked about. In prophase, we get rid of the nuclear envelope. Your centrosomes have to align on either pole and you have to form the mitotic spindle from the centrosomes. In prometaphase, the mitotic spindles are gonna attach to the proteins called kinetochores and start pulling them towards the center. And now you're at metaphase where you pull the chromosomes to the very center, metaphase is middle. So now we are on anaphase. Remember P dash mat. So anaphase. When you hear the word anaphase, or you see it, the way I remembered anaphase is apart. Now what I mean by apart is you have to pull apart your sister chromatids. So the cell has to get a little bit bigger to do this. So I'm gonna draw it a little bit larger. So when we talk about sister chromatids, sister chromatids this is important to understand are held together by a protein known as cohesin. On the outside you have the protein kinetochores. Kinetochores are on the outside, cohesion is on the inside. Kinetochores are gonna help with moving. Cohesion is how your sister chromatids are gonna stay together. So in order to pull these apart, so literally, you have two and you're gonna pull them apart. The first thing that you have to do is you have gotta get rid of this protein cohesion. You have to get rid of this protein and then the mitotic spindles are gonna to attach to your kinetochores on either side and literally pull them apart. So in this picture, what you see is these already are being pulled apart. So, Kinetochores are still on the outside. Your mitotic spindles are pulling them apart from each other. So you have a centrosome with centrioles and the mitotic spindle on the south pole. And you have your centrosome or your centrosol, centrioles on the north pole. Your mitotic spindle is pulling apart your sister chromatids on either side. You're pulling them in different directions. So literally, these are being pulled in this direction. They're being pulled towards the opposite side. These are being pulled in a down fashion and they're being pulled apart from each other. So the way that we do this anaphase is first thing you have to do is you have to remove that cohesin. So in anaphase, you're going to remove cohesin. which causes the chromosomes to separate and the microtubules, which are the mitotic spindle,
pools, the sister chromatids. towards opposite poles. That's anaphase. So now you've pulled them apart. So when we go through mitosis, mitosis is the division of the nuclear material. So now we've pulled them apart. So in telophase, we've got to bring them to the other side and we're starting to make two cells. So we are on telophase. This is going to be the start, the start of two cells. Now, when we talk about telophase, in telophase, your centrosomes, which have the mitotic spindle, have shortened quite a bit. They've already done their job of pulling the kinetochores or attaching to the kinetochores and they've pulled the sister chromatids towards their end of the cell. Let me zoom in on this section. There's still tiny kinetochores now, the first thing that happens in telophase is that your spindle apparatus is starting to disappear on either side. So, it's kind of blurry. Your mitotic spindle is going to start to disassemble and get where it's disappearing. The next thing is because now you have genetic material towards the end, your cell is going to start forming two cells. So what it does, it starts to reform the nuclear envelope. So your nuclear envelope is going to reform. So during telophase, the nuclear envelope reforms around the chromosomes. That's gonna happen on both ends because you almost have two new cells. And The mitotic spindle made out of microtubules disassembles and disappears. We no longer need it because we've almost got two new cells. That is the phases of mitosis. Now, it's easy to go ahead and add cytokinesis in with this lecture. Let me put a star over here. Cytokinesis is the end of the cell cycle, but it occurs at the same time. as telophase. So we're gonna talk about cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is the division of your cytoplasm. Cytokinesis is going to occur at the same time as telophase. 
it's going to finish dividing the cells into two. So, when we talk about mitosis as a review, mitosis is the division of the genetic material of the cell. You need to know P, P mat and what's going on in each phase. So we had prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And telophase is gonna occur at the same time as cytokinesis. So, in cytokinesis, cytokinesis is literally going to be the division of the cytoplasm to finish dividing into two cells. Now, your mitotic spindle is disappearing in telophase. In telophase, you also said the nuclear envelope is reappearing. Now, cytokinesis What's important is it's the division of cytoplasm and dividing into two cells. When we talk about cytokinesis, cytokinesis is going to basically be dividing the cytoplasm in the center. And at the same time, you start to see it cleaving the cell into two equal halves. If this is an animal cell, we literally call this cleavage. That's cytokinesis. This is representing the cytoplasm being divided on either side. So, in animal cells, this is what it would look like. We say that we form a cleavage furrow. which you see in the picture. This is an animal cell. If we were going to draw cytokinesis in a plant cell, the plant cell looks very different. So if I were gonna draw a plant cell, since plant cells are square, What happens in a cell, uh, cell, plant cell, is you basically have to form a cell plate. So, the cell plate looks like a line. It's gonna be part of the cell wall. So in a plant cell, it's gonna look very similar, but it's more square. You're gonna have your condensed chromosomes on either end but in the center during cytokinesis the plasma membrane forms the cell plate which is the line down the center.